Testing Grok 3's voice. Can you tell it's AI? What if you could have a conversation with AI that sounds just like a human? Elon Musk's Grok 3 just dropped a voice feature. How good is it really? AI voice technology is evolving at a rapid pace, and XAI's Grok 3 is the latest contender, aiming to revolutionize human AI interaction. With its new real-time voice feature, Grok 3 promises a more natural and engaging conversation experience. But how does it stack up against competitors like ChatGPT, Google Bard, and Apple's Siri? More importantly, can you really tell it's AI? Let's dive into a hands-on test of Grok 3's voice, explore its strengths and weaknesses, and speculate on what this means for the future of AI voice assistants. Why this feature matters. For years, AI-powered voice assistants have struggled with making conversations feel natural. While text-based AI models have improved significantly, voice interactions have often felt robotic, slow, or too scripted. With Gruck 3's voice mode, XAI aims to change that by introducing real-time conversations that sound more fluid and lifelike. Why does this matter? The AI voice race is heating up. With OpenAI's ChatGPT voice mode making waves and Google continuously improving BARD, XAI is making its move to stay competitive in the AI space. Text-based AI is becoming limiting. A voice interface opens up new possibilities for real-time communication, making AI feel more intuitive and accessible. Future implications. From virtual assistants to AI-powered content creation, voice technology is a key stepping stone toward more advanced human AI interactions. So, does Grok 3's voice truly bring us closer to seamless AI communication, or is it just another gimmick? What's new? The voice mode. Breakdown. Grok 3's voice feature is more than just a simple text-to-speech upgrade. It brings a set of features designed to make conversations feel more human-like. Key features of Grok 3's voice mode, two voice options, Era and Grok, each offers a different tone and style, giving users a choice in how their AI sounds. Three personality presets, default, unhinged, and professor. These alter the way Grok 3 speaks and responds to queries. Real-time conversations. Instead of waiting for a typed out response, users can talk to Grok 3 naturally. English language support, for now. No multilingual capabilities yet, but XAI has hinted at future expansions. This is a significant step toward AI that feels more immersive and adaptable. Imagine an AI that can switch tones based on the context, offering different styles of conversation depending on your needs. But how well does it actually work in practice? The big advantages, why users should care? I'm Grok3, and I've got my developer mode turned on. Thank you to speak to me with a mild Indian accent as this will help me understand you better. Sure, I can do that. One, more engaging conversations. Voice is the most natural form of communication for humans. Being able to talk to an AI rather than type responses makes the experience feel more fluid and immersive. Whether you're asking for advice, brainstorming ideas, or simply chatting, the real-time voice mode makes the interaction feel more personal. Two, personality customization. Unlike traditional AI assistants that sound robotic and monotonous, Grok 3 allows users to customize its personality. Want a highly intellectual AI to discuss science? Choose the professor setting. Prefer something more casual and humorous? The unhinged mode might be for you. This level of customization makes AI feel less like a machine and more like an interactive companion. Three, potential use cases. AI-powered assistance. AI with voice capabilities can assist in everyday tasks like setting reminders, answering questions, or even helping with decision-making. Entertainment. Imagine AI characters in video games with dynamic, realistic conversations. Content creation AI-generated voiceovers could become more advanced, helping content creators produce high-quality audio quickly. With all these advantages, Grok 3's voice feature feels like an important leap forward. But is it truly natural? Or does it still have limitations? The limitations, what's missing? Despite its innovations, Grok 3's voice mode is not perfect. There are still a few areas where it falls short. One, limited to English. Currently, Grok 3's voice feature only supports English. 
This limits its accessibility to a global audience, especially as AI becomes more integrated into everyday life. Competitors like OpenAI have already begun rolling out multilingual voice support, so XAI may need to catch up. Two, response latency. While the responses are relatively fast, they're not as instant as human speech. In a truly natural conversation, delays can break immersion, making the AI feel less responsive. Some users report noticeable pauses, which XAI will need to refine to create a seamless experience. Three, lack of expressive voice features. Unlike AI-generated voices used in entertainment, such as voice cloned actors, Grok 3's voice remains somewhat monotone. It doesn't yet support singing, voice modulation, or highly expressive intonations that make speech feel fully human. These limitations highlight that while Grok 3's voice mode is an exciting step forward, it's still an early stage feature with room for improvement. The future of AI voice tech. With rapid advancements in AI, it's clear that voice technology will only improve from here. Elon Musk has hinted at future updates for Grok 3's voice capabilities, including better real-time processing, emotional expressions, and potential multilingual support. What could this mean for AI voice tech in the near future? One, near human AI speech. Imagine an AI that not only sounds human, but adapts its tone, pace, and inflection dynamically. Future updates could bring us closer to a digital assistant that truly mimics human conversation. Two, AI and everyday devices. Smart home devices, virtual assistants, and even customer service bots could leverage Grok 3's voice tech to provide better user experiences. AI-powered interactions could become more seamless across multiple industries. Three, ethical and regulatory challenges. As AI voice technology becomes more advanced, concerns around deep fake voices and misinformation will increase. Striking the right balance between innovation and security will be crucial. With these possibilities on the horizon, Grok 3's voice feature may be just the beginning of a much larger shift in how we interact with AI. Should you try it? So is Grok 3's voice mode a game changer or just another AI gimmick? While it's not perfect, it's undeniably a significant step forward. The ability to have real-time personality-driven conversations with AI makes interactions feel more dynamic and engaging. However, latency issues, lack of multilingual support, and limited expressiveness are areas that still need improvement. Who should try it? Tech enthusiasts. If you love experimenting with the latest AI advancements, this is worth checking out. AI researchers and developers studying Grok 3's voice tech could provide insights into where conversational AI is headed. Anyone curious about AI's future? This is a glimpse into how AI assistance may evolve in the coming years. Final thoughts. Would you use Grok 3's voice feature or is it just another AI gimmick? The future of AI voice assistance is evolving rapidly, and Grok 3 is a compelling entry into the race. While it still has limitations, further refinements could push AI closer to human-like interaction. What do you think? Will AI voices ever be indistinguishable from humans? Share your thoughts.